Johann Laffe is taking a journey into the past. He's been interested in food and the world of cooking since he first started visiting the farmer's market in Graz 40 years ago. What I discovered here was just phenomenal. It inspired me. And I love seeing people like her who run their own farms and do it all on their own. Some of the vendors here remember Laffer from way back. She remembers me. I've been coming here since 1972. 1972 was when I started at the Gussebräu, that same year. Time flies. Today, everyone here knows him. Robert Wagner, a tenor at the Graz Opera, even greets Laffer with a spontaneous serenade. Super! Hey, good! I'm a huge fan. After Arnold Schwarzenegger, Johann Laffe is Graz's most famous local celebrity. But his own success came as something of a surprise. His first years as an apprentice in the Gusse Breu Tavern were anything but promising. The first six months, all I did was clean the refrigerator, peel potatoes and cut onions for goulash. Just imagine, a young kid, the monotony of it. Cut an onion, cut another onion. It's enough to drive you nuts. <laughs> Nevertheless, he gladly revisited his old digs. Well, there was a big table over there somewhere, and that's where I went through endless sacks of them. Eight hours, maybe. Twice that, 12, 14 hours at a stretch. I was so homesick at first. I mean, I was practically just a kid, really. Homesick for the village of St. Stefan, 27 kilometers southeast of Graz. Johann Laffer was born there in 1957 and grew up with two sisters in the family home. His mother was his first teacher. Her passion and love for food and cooking, that's what did it. You have to love cooking. I'll never forget, her jelly roll cake couldn't have any cracks at the top or she'd be very sad. And to this day, his mother's schnitzel is still the measure of all things for Laffa and his sister Christine. I have cooked for George Bush, Mikhail Gorbachev, Yevgeny Primakov, all kinds of people. I have been around the world. Today I couldn't tell you what I cooked for Bush, but I remember the taste of my mother's schnitzel. And not just the taste, but the emotions, the memories. Feeding the pigs in the slaughter, hiding under the bed covers. And on Sundays, we had the best piece of meat. So it's hardly surprising that Johann Laffe's primary culinary principle is using locally grown products whose origin he knows. And he has a weakness for ham. It's a dream. The aroma, for me, it's awesome. I just want to stay here. Today, Laffa might be selling ham at the farmer's market in Graz if he hadn't discovered a passion for cooking near the end of his apprenticeship. I had a life-changing experience. Each February here, they put on what's called the Heringschmaus, a big elaborate buffet. I noticed there were really nice dishes, that cooking wasn't just about peeling onions and cleaning the fridge. I took part here in Graz, looked around, discovered it was fun, and that I had a talent for it. So I said, that's the life for me, to keep cooking and hopefully be successful. Not long afterwards, Laffa left Graz and headed for Berlin and Munich. There, he quickly found success. But his Styrian roots influence Johann Laffer and his cooking to this day. <laughs>